right. Um, so today I'm exhausted. <laughs> I've been working like the last three days and I tend to burn myself, not really burn myself out. I tend to fucking overdo it sometimes. So I feel blazed. I don't even smoke. So today we're just going to do a story time. I've never done one of these, but let's see how it goes. So we're going to be discussing. Okay. So I'm going to call this story the hike and the walk. So one time it was like two months ago. It's, it's September right now. It's probably in like July. So I went on a hike <laughs> and I don't have a car as of now. So my mom, I asked her to take me on a hike to drive me to like the hiking spot. So she did. And you know, when your fucking parents have to drive back and forth, they're like, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> and when they just get pissed because they don't want to drive, but it happens. So I went on my hike, walking, beautiful hike. Actually, it was, it was an okay hike. Yeah, I, it, it was hard to find the fucking parking lot. It was like hidden in the woods and shit. I was like, what the fuck? So I went on the hike. It was like about an hour. There was no one there. I, I probably saw one person or <laughs> two people. The second person, he literally, he was like a redneck with a gun. I was like, yo, son. <laughs> I was like, come on. He just walked past. He was, I gave him a hello. I was like, what's up? He was like trying to do a southern night he's like what's up and i don't even live in the south anymore i live in new york so when i got when i finished the hike i was like can you pick me up i asked my mom if she could pick me up she was like no i'm picking up your other brother from from work and i was like fuck <laughs> so i asked my dad and then he was like yeah so he came this is where it, this is where it starts so he came to pick me up and like i said the parking lot was hard to find so he was like yo he's after he's like yo <laughs> it's not like pop smoke he was just like come on kobe where's the parking lot i was like okay you're going down the, you're you're driving in the highway and it's to the left and he 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 called me and he was like he went off he just started fucking he just started screaming and be like, yo, where the fuck is the parking lot? I was like, come on, it's right there. He was like, come on. And I told him, I was like, okay, if you're gonna yell, you know, mommy can pick me up because this isn't gonna work because you can't communicate with him because he's just screaming. So I told him that and he, I was standing like at the exit of the parking lot and I literally saw him drive past, past we looked at each other in the eyes, with like a dead stare, and he just kept going. He didn't, that nigga did not come back. I was like, but I also understood it because I did tell him to leave, but like, from the fuck on, he, he stood, he literally stared me dead in the eye, and he just kept going. I was like, what the fuck, man? What the hell, what the hell, man? What the hell? <laughs> so, my next option was to take an Uber, but I had no money in my account to take an Uber and I had no service either. So I asked my mom to try and order me an Uber. It didn't come. I don't know what the fuck happened. It was gonna take, or it was gonna take like super long, like 30 minutes. So, and I had, to, and this is even the better part. I literally had to get to work like in like two hours and I had no one to pick me up or like an hour and a half, I had to get to work. So, and I was working at Legoland at the time. Hold on, let me get some water. Ah, okay, so Uber, no Uber, no ride. Had to get to work in two hours. So I was like, shit. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. That's what I did. So the, it was, the hike was, the hiking spot was pretty far from my house. So I was like, fuck it, I'm walking. And I did just that. 
I fucking walked. So I started walking, you know, on, on the side street. And then it got to the highway. And when I tell you, walking on a highway is so fucking, is so fucking scary. It's literally like the, the trucks would pass by and you'd literally get like a fucking hurricane. Like your clothes would fucking fly. Your clothes would just like be like that all the time. Your hair fucking going everywhere. It wasn't fun, <laughs> but it was also fun at the same time because it felt like an adventure. Probably why I did it. <laughs> so I kept walking. I walked for about like 40 minutes and I, I was actually getting close to the house. Not close at all. Not, not close where I would actually make it to work, but like close where I was like, I, I could do this. I was, I was pissed. I was pissed. And then I made it to, I was like probably like another 40 minutes from the house, made it halfway. And this is where the, the specialty comes in. Someone passed me that I know from work and she called my name out the window and she was like, go I was like, what the fuck? I was like, who called me? Then I just keep walk. I just kept walking because I thought it was in my head. Literally, I thought I was hallucinating because it was fucking a hundred degrees outside in the summer. Uh, I was I was soaking wet, fucking sweating. I was like, shit, man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and then she turned around. She turned back around, and we were. I, I was kind of in like a parking lot. So, she came up behind me. I was like, I looked behind me. I was like, the fuck. And then she honked at me. I I looked even harder, and like I was like, yo, that's Linda, yo. <laughs> it was a person from work, and she was like, you need a ride. She was like, what are you doing? I was like. Uh, walking home and she's like you need a ride I was like yeah so I walked home I mean she drove me home and as we were driving home I literally saw my mom coming to pick me up and I was like you for real <laughs> and I texted my mom I got a ride and she was like she was mad at me not gonna lie she was pissed but what are you gonna do that's water in the back I don't know why the fuck that happens so yeah I made it to work. <laughs> I mean, I made it to the house. She dropped me off. I made it to the house. And the better part, I pissed off both my parents. So they didn't want to take me to work. But they eventually did. Even though they were pissed. But I made it to work and fucking sweating, tired, exhausted. Just cut it like I am right now. But I did it. So I call this a hike and a walk for some reason. I took a hike and then I did a walk and then I drove and I fucking drove again and I had to walk at Lego Land. <laughs> so the moral of the story is don't piss off your parents and life will be hard. Sometimes you, you don't get the, you don't get the, position you want in life but you have to make the most of it so the lesson could be make the most of every situation and that has stuck with me like ever since that day i always think whenever i'm in like a, situ a situation that's like unwanted i think to myself how could i make the most of the situation and the situation doesn't make you you make the situation and that goes the same with your days like the day doesn't make the person the person makes the day you know it's like almost like reverse like people think that everything's happening to them no you can happen to it you you can happen to life so that's the story and i hope you enjoyed it maybe we'll do one of these again i don't know but yeah peace